What do you do if you break your screen or your digitizer is not working and you want to back up your data before you send it to get fixed? Well, hey, it's me, nerdy emo Cameron Salmon. Here I have an iPhone X and as you can see, this is my dad's phone because that's my mom and I can't afford an iPhone X because unfortunately YouTube requires that you need a thousand followers to monetize your video. So I have a hundred thousand views, I don't have the followers, and I can't get money, so I can't buy an iPhone X. But luckily, my dad has one, and I'm going to show you that my method works also on an iPhone X because, you know, I've gotten quite a bit of comments being like, does this work on iPhone X? Does this work on iPhone X? Does it work on iPhone X? I don't know because I haven't tried it, but people also commented saying it works on the iPhone X, so I'm guessing it does. Here I have a original lightning to USB adapter because it's Apple, they have a buttload of adapters now. Um, and we are going to plug it in. And I have a normal USB keyboard here, not a gaming keyboard. Keyboards that use too much power will not work. And let's do this. I plug it in and let's pretend this screen is broken. Unlock. What is this? So Apple apparently made it so that you can't use the USB dongle when your iPhone is locked. Ever since iOS 11.1 and higher, it prevents accessories to be used while the iPhone is locked. Now, there is a way to get past that. So if you go into settings and you go to face ID and password, you type in your password. Now, of course, you can't do this when your phone is broken, but right here, USB accessories. If this was on, then I would be able to use my old method of unlocking the phone. Now, default, that is off, so we are going to leave that off. And I'm gonna add my face into my dad's phone and see if I can unlock the phone without touching it using my face. And if I can unlock it using my face, then you can use the USB dongle. Let's do this. So hopefully you already have this face ID set up before your phone broke which most people, I presume, do have the Face ID set up on their iPhone X because there is no scanner button for your finger. See that? Right there. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it here locked for an hour and a half and then try to plug in the USB. So it's been about an hour and I'm going to see if I can use my keyboard. You know, my screen doesn't work. Oh my God, what is this? Why is this popping up? Well, gosh darn it, Apple. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna remove this so it can detect my face. Unlocked. Unlock iPhone to use accessories. Let me click enter. Huh, it says it's unlocked. Now it works, okay. So if you have Face ID, see look, and what? Okay, now we do the steps from the last video. When you're setting up the phone for the first time, it pops up, you know, you need Face ID and all that, which most people I presume has Face ID. So this will solve that problem. I'm going to unlock it with my face. It's unlocked. Click enter. Now let's turn the iPhone X into voiceover mode. Turn on voiceover. Okay. Voiceover. I turned on voiceover. voiceover. To click OK, you need to do Control Alt Space on the keyboard. What we need to do is connect this Bluetooth speaker to my iPhone so that I can connect it to my computer and click trust this computer. Go to Bluetooth settings. 
Let's take a look at the Bluetooth setting. And I got my keyboard here and right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, all the way down to the Bluetooth keyboard. And to click it, we do control alt space. As you can see, we are connected. Right arrow works. So when I plug it into the computer, trust this computer notification pops up and I can then click right arrow. Oh wait, that doesn't work. So what I can do on the iPhone X, I can click escape and then you enter the password. Oh wait, that's my dad's phone. Nobody hack my dad, please. And yes!